hello, hello. Not sure if this is working. Is anyone there? Hi. I don't look as good as Strinka or Crystal because it's 11 p.m. here. Just already ready for bed. <laughs> so as they say in Holland, this is pure nature. <laughs> no makeup, nothing. Hi, Guadalupe. Hi, Gisela. <laughs> Okay, not really pure nature. I did tattoo my eyebrows and my eyeliner. Hi, Christical. So, oh, let me get all this ready. <laughs> so, my name is Priscilla. I'm from Suriname, actually. And hey, Tasha. So, I'm from Suriname. <laughs> But I live in Holland right now. I actually did live um, in Canada and work for Ugly Duckling Nails for a year. Hi, Yvonne. So I know how it goes there. Anyways, <laughs> thank you, H&M. I love this sweater too. <laughs> Hi, Soraya. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm um, home of Diva on Instagram. Not sure if you guys know that but it's me <laughs> um i started doing nails in 2012 uh, after i quit um work i was actually um a ma i have a master degree in business and i was working um for johnson and johnson a distributor in suriname and then i started to love saving animals <laughs> lots of strays in Suriname and my salary wasn't cutting it because I kept on driving with um, dog food and cat food in my car and I was spaying and neutering them and finding homes for them my house was like I had like 12 dogs 12 cats so it's uh it's crazy so I didn't have um enough money so my sisters they had a salon and um that's where the name Home of Diva comes from. It's home of Deborah and Vanessa, my sisters. They taught me everything. And then I soon took over their nail department and they did the rest. And um, yeah, I started practicing. I usually worked on, um, hi Anya, hi Daisy, <laughs> um, Hima's Nail Glam. So, yeah, so um, I started practicing. I worked on natural nails mostly um, until I learned how to work with gel. Christina taught me, um, but I never really did long nails. So I was really happy when tippies came in. <laughs> so if you scroll down my feed on Instagram, you'll see that I learned how to do art on the tiniest, shortest nails. So I know people are like now, oh yeah, such long nails. Of course, it's easy to work on long nails, but it's not. Long nails, short nails, it's all difficult. Hey, Jennifer. <laughs> so it's all practice. Um, I've been practicing since 2012. And um, I did a lot of customers, a lot of character, characters, everything. So, oh. It was a lot of work. Blood, sweat, and tears. That's what I call it. Anyways, I'm kind of um, nervous because I'm not sure if you guys are going to like what I'm going to teach because I wasn't sure what to teach. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Thank you. So I wasn't sure what to teach. So I started scrolling down my feed and I decided to teach this. Let me show you and then I'm going to start. Hope you guys like it. I'm not sure. Okay, how do I turn this around? Ah. So I'm going to teach these butterflies. I was really stressing. Oh, my cat is complaining. Say hi. <laughs> okay. It's really cold here. So um, I had to put his cat litter box <laughs> in... Uh, in my room which is not i'm not a fan it was on the balcony but now it's uh in my room so i have litter on my carpet not a fan but yeah it's what we gotta do 
Loving my cat. Don't want him to go outside in minus 14. I hope you guys like it. It's not usually um, my normal stilo, but I did this set in 2017, I think. So what I usually do is I would put uh, just like if, see this pink one? I would just do the rest of the nails around it pink. So just keep it simple. And I, I didn't want to do anything um, for Valentine's because Valentine's is almost over. So I thought, let's do spring. Okay. So first I'm going to draw out what it's going to look like on the nail, what I start with. I found my pen, my ugly duckling pen. And for those of you who know me, they, you know that I don't really like online classes, so this is like extra nerve wracking. Just saying. <laughs> okay. So for the butterfly, I put a the body of the butterfly on one nail. And on the other nail, I don't. My sister's always like, but why don't you just do it on the other nail as well? I'm like, because it just has one body. It's a butterfly, one butterfly. But if you want, put the body on both sides. It's all good. So on one nail, I would draw. Let me see if I'm in the screen. I'll draw this. I'm much better with a with brushes and then it's like um i'm not sure what it is but that's the body louis in the litter box he's burying something <laughs> that's the noise you're hearing in the background okay and then i would take like a make it go like up and down and up again for the wing and then like uh, this and then here have it go like this it's not difficult it's pretty um pretty simple so we like simple right especially when you're in a hurry with customers you want them out of there and this looks pretty glamorous so and then this you want to do this on the other side as well looks good and it's simple that's perfect i just want to have that on that side as well it doesn't have to be perfect because it's a butterfly and we don't know how it's flying so one side could be going down one side could be going up so it doesn't matter so that's what we're going to be drawing this is going to be on one nail and this will be on the other nail okay all righty let's go on running it always does when I teach so what I do to save time I got two tips ready and I put two layers of white and a layer of no wipe top coat and then I took a fine buffer and I buffed it because we are using foil we should buff the background as not to get foil on the rest of the white. So, when you guys do that, let me see if I do that. Let's see if there's anything shiny left here. No, I think it's fine. Okay, so you guys got that. Two layers of white, no wipe, and then buff it with a fine buffer. Okay, make sure it's dust free. And then start with one side. I'm going to use black art gel. Black art gel, well all of our art gel cures with a sticky layer. So we can use foil on the art gel after it's cured. If you use too much art gel, it's not going to cure properly. So you have to find the right combination of um, 
Louis complaining in the background again. <laughs> um, so you have to find the right combination of thick and thin. Not too thin, not too thick. Alrighty, let's start. So I'm using my favorite brush, the Striper. Striper. And I hope I stay in frame. Should I zoom in more? Hmm, okay. So when taking the Striper brush, I'm going to... So you usually don't want to have that little bolly on the tip of the brush but I want it now because I want to make that shape going from thick to thin okay let's see my hands are shaking because I'm nervous <laughs> it sucks We want to get it on the side, not too close to the side because then you won't see it. So somewhere around here. Ooh, my hand's shaking. Stop. Stop. Oh. <laughs> okay. Need to focus. Focus. Wow. pulling smooth it out then you have the body A little bit rounder on the top make sure that after you buff it it's dust free otherwise it's a mess alrighty then we're gonna take just move the customer's finger around so it's comfortable for you. It doesn't matter if it's comfortable for them. They sit there for a few hours or an hour or something like that. We sit there all day. So just move it how you want it. And just pull the arch gel where you want to have it. I was so stressing for this class because I just didn't know what to teach. And I'm horrible at online classes. Just not good. It doesn't matter if it's perfect because the foil is going to go over it and then you won't be able to see if it's a mess or not, <laughs> which is perfect because my hand is shaking. Okay. Just like how I drew it on the paper. And make sure that it's not too thick. too thin. I hope everyone has been keeping safe. It is very cold in Holland right now. 
not cool at all. Okay. I'm not gonna work with a glove. It's bugging me. It is bugging me. Guess what? Remember I did this last time? Where I wasn't happy? <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. Take some alcohol and you wipe it all off. But I'm gonna be quicker now because I have no glove. This is real life, people. Real life. Try to use most of the nail. The other one was too skinny. Here, I'm using more of the nail. Just pull the arch out where you want to have it. have all been safe i can't wait for the vaccine to come out well it has come out but here it's taking super long they don't have enough and i don't know why else it's taking so long i really need to get out of my house super boring 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 to do the same thing that I did that I did with the body for the for that thingy on top I forgot what it's called the I don't know what it's called <laughs> take the little bolly and pull push it down and then let go and that's how you have that part of the body <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to cure this, a full cure, the antenna, yes, cure.
cure this a uh, full 60 seconds. Um, I'm looking for the for any questions any techniques for fixing line work mistakes without smudging or usually the matte top coat smudges but what I just did I just really scraped it off with 90% alcohol <laughs> it really came off I really really pushed that down um, normally I use a brush if it's like a small mistake I use um, the angled tool brush it's like this and I put it uh, in alcohol and then clean the really small mistakes but this is a big mistake so you know <laughs> alrighty so I have me some foil where is it I put it somewhere okay if you have problems with foil coming off like it's breaking and <laughs> oops <laughs> and this is the reason why I don't do online classes <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna take a little bit of alcohol on a tissue and then wipe the back not the front not the shiny part but the back that helps the foil to come off better so let's <laughs> never a dull moment in my classes okay. and then just put that on there you see it doesn't matter that it looks messy because it's covered i love doing this Nice, love. Okay. Let's do the other side. So, to make sure that you get that the same size, I would take the brush, put on uh, the nails, and then put it together, and then take the brush, and then put a dot where you want to have the wings. So you see. This is, yeah, so we're gonna try to get that symmetrical. Whew. Let's do it. So I'm not gonna do another body. I'm just doing the wings. Let's see. I'll try to use as much of the nail as possible. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. So no worries about that. Like I said before, the butterfly could be flying or something, you know, I don't know. But it shouldn't be like too different either. If you know what I mean. Like if it's a tiny wing, then it's like a little damaged butterfly. Let's look at it. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. yeah so my cat litter box is inside not a fan so i'm hoping that temperatures will go down and i can put my box outside again so my cat can go outside
I left it outside for the first day it snowed and there was snow on my balcony. And my cat kept on going outside and jumping back inside because I think his feet were getting cold. <laughs> so he was scared and he ran back inside. Let's see. Hmm. It's not hot, but it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. You can work with it. You guys get the point. Okay, so I'm... Go oh, the antenna. The antenna. Little bolly, and then pull it down. Press it down firmly and let go and work with the tip, like so. Alrighty, and then we're gonna cure that for a full cure, 60 seconds. I can just imagine having to teach a character. It would look like horrid. And I'm like less nervous to teach in front of like 80 people than I'm doing this. Isn't that funny? Super weird. Okay, so we don't need our gel anymore. Hi, Alina. Welcome to the disaster that is Home of Divas online class. <laughs> And the art gels are really pigmented, so you really, if if you want a full cure, then it's 60 seconds. Because it you may notice that it smudges. Okay. So this is my favorite part. So pretty. Because I buffed the back, if you have any like um, pieces of silver on the nail, you could just brush it off. So that's why I buffed the background. Okay, so what I do now is I will fill in the back so that here you see it looks pretty bling, right? I will fill the back with glitter. If I'm using a gold background, I will use gold glitter in the background. If I use silver, I will use silver in the background. So today I will do it with silver. Let me move the nails off my palette and get that silver. I am using number 41, which is a really nice silvery glitter, and I'll put it on my palette, and I will put it, well, color in the, the butterfly, the background where we want to put the bling. This is the same as what I do with full bling nails. I will do the background a glitter so that it looks, that it doesn't look like there are any gaps or anything. It just looks full on bling. It is pretty easy. I would have been done quicker if, you know, if I hadn't messed up. But there you see, it's easy to fix. Oh, I'm using the detailer to color in this. Gorgeous butterfly. If the foil didn't catch all the places, it's fine. A few black gaps are fine. It looks vintage. No worries about that.
Okay, so now I'm going to put that in the lamp and I'll do the other side. I just take a glob <laughs> and then pull it where I want to have it. Try not to get it over the foil. Because it is a different look on the outside. And remember that if this is on a real person, you just turn their finger how you want to have it. It's fine. You sit there all day, they're only there for a bit. this in the lamp after um, curing the glitter in in the middle of the butterfly we're going to put top coat over the entire nail because once you start working with the crystals, maybe the shticket will move and the crystals might move and then you'll take off some of the foil. So we don't want that. So we're gonna put a layer of top coat over the entire thing. You can also just leave it like this. It's not so bad. You could also um, sugar with glitter on the inside. Just put top coat on the inside and then sugar. I did that before as well. Looks good, looks good. Gonna cure that. And then I'm going to put a top layer of top coat over the other one. And if the nails are a bit smaller, that means you need less crystals. <laughs> I did these a lot, a lot. Once I posted them, everyone wanted them. And in all different colors. Thanks, sis. <laughs> If you do the pink one, do you use dark pink or gel or light? I just use black and um, the foil covers it anyways. So I just always use black or gel with the foil. I used, um, let's see. I used base and top, so I'm going to wipe it. The tacky top. I just like that top coat. I don't know. Always worked with it. Alrighty, now the fun starts. Let's get that stick it out. Where is it? Right here. It's cold here, so mine looks cloudy. <laughs> but it's fine. We're going to work with it anyways. Not too thick, not too thin. Like Christina said in her tutorial or demo, cease. <laughs> That's inside joke for when I work there. I'm 
I'm just using my blinger tool, the award-winning blinger tool. So it has a daughter on one side and a picker-upper <laughs> on the other side. So I'm putting stick it on the inside of the butterfly. Not too thick, not too thin. I don't want it too thick, so I don't want it to go over the crystals because that is a mess. You want to keep them sparkly, not dull, with stick it over it. So now I'm putting um, stick it on the other one. And I like to add the crystals at the same time. So on one side, I'll add like a pink one and then I'll put it on the same location as on the other wing I didn't know what I was gonna teach till yesterday speaking of procrastination so that's why I was super nervous today. Oh, I hate being nervous. It's the worst feeling. <sighs> Alrighty. So let's bring out that bling. I am going to work with mainly AB crystals and crystals. And I'm going to have some white pearls in there and maybe some white opals. And you can get them all at ugly duckling clear as mud so I'm putting them all ready <laughs> Anya are you nervous for me <laughs> open thingies with crystals in it OMG oh, please stay put please let me move my sweater <laughs> So I'm gonna put some pearls right there. Oh, you can mix big and small. And then I have some tiny, tiny pearls. I'm not sure where I got those. The big ones I got from, um, from Alina. So I'm gonna put a tiny one right there. And then I'm gonna put a tiny one right here can add more tiny ones let me add a tiny one there too and am I in yeah I always worry if I'm out of focus or out of the camera it's so nerve-wracking <laughs> okay all right yeah you know, when I was putting my camera in my, in the holder, the whole holder and camera fell. So that is not true. Things can fall more than once. All right. So now we're just going to fill the nail. So here I have that crystal one. Let me find somehow a, the same size, about the same size. Let me see. Is that the same size? No, it's a bit bigger. And you kind of keep putting it in the same location. You don't have to, but I like to. Because I have issues. I'm a perfectionist. It's very irritating sometimes. Actually, it's irritating a lot. Let's put some white opal as well. Also available. Add ugly duckling. Let's add some of those. And you just fill it up. Oh, come on, man. All right. Let's 
one here. This is nice in any color. And you don't have to put the background white, but it does make it pop more, so that's why I do white. But it can be nude and yeah, it can be anything actually. So basically now I'm just filling. What time is it? Okay. Got enough time. Thank God. So when I started nails, I was like super nervous about filing and shaping and oh man i caught a lot of people <laughs> my sister's like just shut up and say only professionals do that so i'm like okay only professionals do that <laughs> oh man i felt so horrible you know when you cut someone you're like sweating and hot on the inside oh, oh it's the worst feeling the worst the worst so I actually wanted to quit. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do nails anymore. Uh, it's not for me. It's not, I should think I should go back to business. Yeah. <laughs> and I hate getting cuts too. Oh, oh, it hurts. It hurts. Like, it's the worst. I hate paper cuts. And then the file cuts are, oh, ugh. it feels terrible. I remember when I got petties, I got cuts a lot. Oh, that just ruined my day. Let's see, finding space to add all this stuff. Let's see. Let's add some more. AB. People are probably asking how much I charge, right? I'm only guessing. But I used to charge per hour. That way, the customer can see how long you're busy. And they don't question your how you came up with the price, you know? Because sometimes they're like, but how did you get that? Why is it that expensive? So I used to just charge per hour. Let's see. Squeeze in some. There's a fuzzy. My cat's eating. If you hear crunch in the background. It's making me hungry. See what I can squeeze in. Now I take like the one nail and then see what I can fit in. Let's do... With crystals, if I buy crystals, I usually buy odd numbers. Like three, five, seven, nine, twelve. And I don't go over usually unless you know you have the people that, that like the big the big bling you should have some of those as well I'm squeezing them in I'm really filling it okay take this one see what I can fit in try not to get it over the the foil part because otherwise she did that for nothing
Oh, and I remember when I first started doing art, I would draw with a dotting tool, stripes with a dotting tool. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds terrible, Louis, I know. Like with this, I used to draw stripes. I would, oh my God, just don't get me started how <laughs> disastrous that was. So people are like, I want this, came with pictures with stripes. I'm like, oh, you want polka dots? <laughs> I can do polka dots. Mm, no, he's complete. Okay, one more in here. It's all practice. You have to just try to get comfortable with the brush. Okay, so now I have some caviar beads. You see how tiny they are? They are 0.04. I'm going to take the dotted part and stick it. So I haven't cured yet. I'm going to cure when I'm finished. So I'm going to add... Oh these so it really fills up the nail really really fills up the nail this work can be a bit time consuming that's why I charge per hour <laughs> what is there Yonga Just get it in between the gaps so it looks nice and full and clean. I hope I'm in. The, yeah, I'm in. I'm not looking at the the comments. So sorry if I'm missing questions. But I promise to go back to look at it and answer anything. No. <laughs> Why does he always do that? Always when I'm talking to people, little jealous, needing attention, man. <laughs> what is there, young man? Every gap you see. the screen yeah good good I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm doing because it's quite small but trust me it really looks so much better <laughs> after it's done it looks better with than without Sometimes he sounds really possessed. Like, what's your problem, dude? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> never a dull moment in my online demos. <laughs> I can't concentrate now. Okay. He's getting pissed and licking himself. <laughs> That's why I like presential classes better. Physical ones. Don't have any like cats to sabotage anything. Okay. So I got, I added the caviar beads and I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to add that to the lamp so cute and then i got this one still lord have mercy let me just do that quickly i will post a picture um on my Instagram and my Facebook so you can see it better a close-up 
but I'm sure you get you get the idea. It's pretty simple. It's just um, it's just a little bit time consuming. Oh, come on. Sometimes the shticket is already a bit dry, or I may have missed a spot. So I'm gonna add some more. get off okay good I used the daughter side and it still has a little bit of stick it to it so that's why it sticks on this daughter part I don't want to use the blinger for that because it's so tiny you need to really get in all those crevices I think I'm going to have to go off and on again on this on Facebook. To show you how I make sure that these crystals stay on. Stick it is the bomb, but you have people that are customers that are literally the bomb and they go crazy and act like they don't have crystals on their nails and use their nails as tools <laughs> instead of jewels so I'm gonna show you how I do that because I really hate it when people are like mm, my crystal fell can I come fix <laughs> it's like it always comes at the worst moment so we don't want that so when I put this in the lamp I'm going to restart the live. I always take so long. I'm such a slow poke. Alrighty. But I would never try to rush myself either because I want it to look good. So here I have this one, it's done, it's going to go in the lamp and then I'm going to restart. Yes! See you guys in a bit. Hello, hello my people. So I just cured these butterflies, this butterfly. Just cured it. So the steps, two layers of white, one layer of no wipe, and then buff it with a thin buffer, a uh, thin, fine buffer. <laughs> See, I dropped it again. Fine buffer. Two layers of white, top coat, uh, two layers of white, then no wipe, then buff it with a fine buffer. Then make sure it's dust free. Draw the outline of the butterfly with Argel, black Argel. Cure the Argel for a minute and then it has a sticky layer so you can add the foil on there. You have to wipe the back of the foil if you're having issues with the foil coming off smoothly. Alrighty, then I color the inside with a glitter that matches the crystals. So that is the silver glitter 41. If you use a gold background, use 42. Um, let's see. And then I cured it, put top coat over the entire thing. 
then put stick it only on the insides of the wings and then added the crystals and then cured them so now to make sure that you don't have those annoying customers that come back to get stuff fixed all the time i'm going to put some base top well it's actually tacky top now on you could use no wipe as well but i always wipe the crystals afterwards so that it blings so then it doesn't matter i'll just use base top tacky top putting that on my lovely palette and then i'm going to take my painter brush also a must-have swirl that in there and then make sure that you get that on the outside of the nail and then I get it around the corners as well right by the crystals not on the crystals but on the sides kind of where um, the bottom of the crystal it goes outwards so then you can put gel uh, the top coat over the edges of the crystals if you know what i mean so that's like a it holds it down a bit it helps trust me it's only because it was so irritating fixing all the time for people that are just using their nails as tools instead of jewels so now we have it on the edges and what I do is I will twirl this brush, not get too much on it, and then put top coat on the pearls because sometimes the pearls, if they are cheap quality, when you wipe it with alcohol, the layer of pearl <laughs> goes away <laughs> and that's horrible, speaking from experience. And now I just add like a little bit of top coat on the caviar beads so that it will leak in the crevices, <laughs> I guess. And that means they are protected. And then you can put it in the lamp. That is just some extra protection. Stick it is already bomb, but you have those customers that always have issues. So now I'm gonna do the other side. Dust. And I almost dropped my So we are going to have some fancy spring nails, aren't we? Something to keep us a little happy in this time of complete boredom. Okay, remember on the pearls, if you have anything plastic or anything, you should definitely cover it with top coat. And also the studs. The caviar beads sometimes change color so when you put top coat over it it will change color but it will take longer before it does so that is important as well and try not to get any top coat like on the crystals like just on the sides is fine but not on it I think that's pretty good. Okay, in the lamp. So I did this design with red, with a, with red. 
I think I just have to repost all of them. I should just look for them and repost them. This is like the easiest butterfly ever. I mean, you don't have to draw anything, just the outline, but it's fine if it's messy because the ins well, the outside shouldn't be messy, but the inside can be, um, the inside can be fixed. <laughs> and you can do this as well. Like you can do the outside with a little designy. <laughs> or if you wanna keep it simple, Here's the pink version, here's silver. Then I would just put pink on the other nails. Super simple. And here's rose gold. And all of this is with the black Argel um, for the foil part. And then the silver one. So I always wipe the crystals after because when you pick it up with a blinger, it kind of gets like waxy. <laughs> with alcohol. It's better if you have like a cotton thingy. <laughs> I work with tissue. Really get in the the grooves, the crevices. And you see nothing's falling off, so it's on there real good. Move that. I'm glad you guys like it. I was really stressing about it. I was really stressing this time, like what am I gonna teach? I just don't know. Okay, so here we have the silver one. And that's it. It really is quite quick-ish. There we go. The lamp is not... Okay. Well, that's it. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys have questions about it, please let me know. You can always DM me on Instagram. I tend to miss some on Messenger. So please on Instagram. Home of Diva. You're welcome. I hope you guys are all keeping safe. Um, I hope it was clear. I hope you liked it. A lot of stress about it, but I hope you liked it. And if you do this design, please tag me. I would love, love to see your designs in like different colors and stuff. Inspire me. <laughs> Have a great evening. It's already 12 a.m. here, so um, I'm going to do the rest of the design for the butterfly because <laughs> I never sleep until like 5 in the morning because I'm a freak like that. I never got my Canadian um, timing. I, how do you call that? I never got rid of my jet lag from Canada, so I live Canadian time in Holland. Crazy. Miss you guys in Canada. Bye, everyone. Keep safe. <laughs> sleep well Anya for the people that are in Europe it's bedtime bye <laughs> okay where's the button ah yeah bye <laughs>